Yeah, I like the little Chinese bitches, man. Oh, don't say nothing to her. I know her. Oh, her? Do you? Yeah. She look kind of good, doesn't she? Will you work with her or something? Yeah. Tell her to come over and talk to you. You big old faggot. What are you looking at? Yeah, you get, you get you fired. Oh, you don't even believe what I seen him out there doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she told him before. Like, oh, I really? seen him out there. Yeah, they act like we seen us out. It's like we was out here, uh, <laughs> like like out here. I don't, it's like such a if you it's like a dirty thing to teach the Bible. It's like y'all are so filthy. They look at us like we're filthy because we're out here teaching the Bible. Good. But here it is, they're fighting for faggots' rights, and they, they, their best friend's gay, and motherfuckers eat goddamn pork, and agnostic and atheist, you know what I'm saying? But they saying we're filthy. They look at us like we're filthy. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers deserve death. They deserve to fucking die. That's all there is to it, man. Because like they said, they chose Barabbas instead of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, man. That's why I pray. I pray to the Most High. He just starts killing you for real soon, man. I, I pray that it comes soon, soon, soon as possible. Just chop motherfuckers' heads off. It's gonna be so beautiful, man. I can't. It's gonna be the best, the best destruction you've ever seen. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Oh, right there, boy. right there. See all these hoes, they walk around, they, they don't know what the hell's going on. They ain't got a clue. Bitches dumb as fuck. But I ain't gonna teach them shit either. They, they, you wasting your time trying to wake up a woman. Like, hey baby, you wanna learn the Bible? You, you wasting your time if you're gonna think you're gonna keep one of these women. Oh yeah. That's an illusion. That's like a mirage. You know what I'm saying? You thought you had it though. <laughs> this bitch is gone. It's alright though. There's another hoe where she came from. You know what I mean? Ain't no big deal. They can, can't lose sleep over a hoe, cry for a hoe. Here it is, I found it. Oh, what you got? Um, it's called Freedom Ohio, to ask Ohio voters to legalize same-sex marriage. Oh, fuck. A new poll commissioned by the organization that promoted the legalization of same-sex marriages in Ohio showed that Ohio voters are split down the middle on the issue. Yeah, because they got all these, because Columbus is a big time faggot city, if y'all didn't know. Man, you go down here, well, actually on campus, you see faggots everywhere, but you want to see a lot of faggots, just go right down High Street, down to the short north, and good lord, they'd be a fucking freak fan. Yeah, they went around voters, people that are registered voters only, though. and they asked voters, and it's like 56% that's saying we support the same sex. So they all, they into that, that's what I'm saying, but y'all look at that. Like we're filthy, but here it is, y'all endorsing faggots and homosexuals. What does a faggot do? When a man has sex with another man, what does he do? He takes, he goes inside of his asshole. That's where the shit comes out. You know shit? You know what shit, shit stinks? You ever smell some shit before? That's why when you shit, you flush it down the toilet. You don't keep the shit. Right, I'm gonna keep this, this is my prized possession. Man, you cause all kind of diseases and shit to spread if you don't. But here's a faggot going inside a man's asshole, getting shit all over his nuts and you know, all over his shit, and he's got to be getting shit all over himself. You're going inside of his asshole. Media, uh, his asshole. Then you explode his asshole. His asshole's bleeding. You know what I'm saying? That shit. Happens. You hear about faggots all the time. My asshole got exploded. Mm -hmm. yeah, all the time. They always in the emergency room and shit. Happens. And they be fisting each other too. They stick a whole fist in each other. They like it. They, they, they like they like that pain. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then they taking all they because plus they gotta take all kind of drugs just to uh, withstand that pain. You know what I'm saying? But he but y'all wanna fight for a goddamn faggot. That don't make no fucking sense. Hey, read that. What would you get? What's that we used to read? It? All right, that was, that was it. But here it is. He said over half the people. In favor, it's more than half. Right. That was just a, a thousand. They only sent it out to a thousand voters. Just like register you, voters. Just, just, just like a thousand. Just like your boy from Duck Dynasty. Like he said, he said he finds a a woman's vagina is more desirable than a man's anus. Well, no fucking shit. <laughs> Who the fuck want to go up in a hairy asshole? 
That doesn't make no goddamn sense, man. But if, if you speak out against faggots, do you, you get in trouble, they lock you up, you go to jail, you get fired. You know what I'm saying? If you talk anything bad about a faggot, you get fired. What's your um, rapper, a little short motherfucking rapper, he's just released from jail. He got a movie coming out, Married to the Preacher's Daughter. Some Look at the cop about get him, they ain't got no headlights on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, They're right there at the red light. Nah, he was big in the 90s, so. Too short? Short motherfucker, nah. Uh, I have no idea. Damn. I'm out of touch with this shit. Anyway, him That's and his wife true. is fighting big right now. And, uh, and she said that he uh, could never make up his mind whether he wanted some pussy or he wanted to suck a dick. Dr. Dre? No, not Dre. Uh, they, Tupac said that about uh, Dre. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that one. Everybody know Dr. Dre's a big faggot. Damn, this is fucking What's his name? I don't know. They're all faggot shit. Yeah, right. They're all faggots. He did. He's he a faggot. All them right, Kanye West is a big faggot. Con Kanye West walking around with a devil worshiping shirt. He wearing a baffle net shirt. It's the Alice from Crowley shirt. He uh sacrificed his mom. He walks around with a purse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sacrifices with his mom. His mom. Yep, his mom. mom. Just like Obama sacrificed his grandma. Mm -hmm. When that his grandma he killed? His own. It was his What's grandma. His right before he got elected, his grandma died. Yep, yep. That was a sacrifice, man. To his fucking pagan gods, to Baal. He, he's a fucking devil worshiper. Jennifer Hudson killed her whole goddamn family. Yep. <laughs> right. Wipe them out. Wipe them, took them out. That probably was. She wanted extra fame. Mm -hmm. You, know, you, you want to get more fame, you gotta sacrifice more. Yeah, you gotta Just like John Travolta killed his son. Yeah, he killed his retarded son. Yep. Who are this? All kind of people. You probably wanted that retarded motherfucker dead anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shit. John Travolta's wicked ass, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Michael Jordan killed his dad. Yep. Michael Jordan killed his dad. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. it's crazy though when you look at that. All these famous people got relatives dying like that, when man. When Tyson killed yeah, his daughter. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. When Tyson killed oh. his daughter. Oh, damn. Ain't no way. Yep. Also, ever since he killed his daughter, he's been getting. Uh, Invitations to speak in schools, universities, on television, across in Japan, uh, China, just everywhere, yeah, man. Yeah, they put him back. In movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. His whole life changed again after that, that sacrifice. Yeah. The list goes on and on, man. These motherfuckers killing their family members. Ain't nothing to them. Blood sacrifice. Like the scripture we've been reading. Ah, uh, Psalms 106. Yeah, it's blood sacrifices. It goes on and on. Oh, this nation, man, ain't no end to this wickedness. Shit was founded by devil worship. That's right. Ain't no end to this place wickedness, man. And you got the nerve to be comfortable here? What the fuck is wrong with you motherfucking people, man? You niggas. You people of the tribes, though. Because fuck the other nations. The people of the tribes got the nerve to be comfortable in this motherfucker. Half love thy neighbor. They take, they abuse the shit out of that scripture. Love the they don't even know what it means. They don't even know what a neighbor right. is. They don't even know what the fuck it means, man. Love thy neighbor. Stupid motherfuckers. Got the nerve to be comfortable in this motherfucker, man. Well, I got a scripture for you. It was just the other day, not too long ago, man. The motherfucker was sicking dogs and spraying us with hoses and shit. The, the same people that was doing it, they're still walking around now. People ain't yeah, dead, uh, man. I got a scripture for you. Yeah, second part of the 19th. The same motherfucking people that was doing that shit in the 40s, 50s, and 60s is still here now. You think they changed their heart? I love these these niggas now. Now, hell no. These people, their minds stay, these people stay the same. Well, just like Bill Gates. Bill Gates is a goddamn crazy. Was crazy. But you know, black people love Bill Gates. You ever know what I'm saying? Bill Gates. I know. They think he's the greatest. Rich. He's like, I got that Bill Gates money. They really look up to Bill Gates because he got. Believe the richest man in the world. Well, he, yeah, they actually believe he's the richest man. They really believe that. They're shit. fucking retarded. Retarded. But, you know but anyway, but, but Bill Gates, but he's a eugenicist. I was just watching him brag on t uh, on YouTube today, and he was bragging about. It. He's like, well, actually, my parents helped start Planned Parenthood. Damn. But he he was bragging, you know, that's the, the abortion centers because his family was uh, behind all those abortions. They, they was part of getting abortion legalized. And, you know what I'm saying? Making making sure plenty of little black babies die. You know, yeah, little white babies kill all the babies. They don't kill all your babies. Well, that goes back to Egypt when they said, let's uh, let's they take home 
uh, make a uh, uh, with another you know, another nation and become mighty and turn the distance. I think it's good. I can't even paraphrase it. I can't even paraphrase it properly. How was that, bro? Nineteen. Yeah, why you get that? Yeah, we did. Second time in nineteen one. I forget what it was. I'll go ahead and see. Yeah, that's right. Second Chronicles 19 and 1. Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said, to King Jehoshaphat. So his seer, he's a prophet. He came up and told the king so he had a message for him. Keep going. Shouldest thou help the ungodly? Should you help the ungodly? Keep going. And love them that hate the Lord? So are you supposed to show any kind of love to these people that's coming against the word of the Most High? You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Therefore his wrath upon thee from, a, from before the Lord. Ne nevertheless, there are good things found in thee. So that's the point. That's the point right here. So the Lord said, if you if, if you trying to love the wicked, you trying to love every goddamn buddy, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, oh, we gotta forget this, my brother. You gotta love your neighbor. That's what you was talking about earlier. Love your neighbor. That's what you was talking about. Well, that right there says you ain't supposed to love the wicked, man. Because if you if you showing love to these wicked fools, the Lord's gonna fuck you up, man. Man, you supposed to teach people the truth, but once they reject that truth and they keep rejecting it, man. You, you don't be nice to that person. They ain't supposed to be kicking with that person. Here you, know, you go, quick scripture. This is Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, said the Lord, the how Shem Yahweh unto the wicked. There ain't no peace to the wicked, man. That's simple and plain. Simple and plain to the Lord. I mean, you ain't supposed to show love to these wicked motherfuckers. That's why the Lord called them in the New Testament. He said this is a wicked and adulterous generation. He called y'all a bunch of damn adulterers. He ain't speaking nice words about y'all, man. Right. He wasn't speaking, he called people adulterers. Is that, that's not loving, in, ain't that loving your neighbor though, right? Right. When we're talking about the love of Jesus, he called everybody, all these wicked people adulterers. Right. He told them it was gonna be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah. Hmm. Okay, is that, is that the love of Jesus? Love of Jesus. Wisdom of Solomon, 6 and 18 and love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws and the is the assurance of incorruption yep that's incorruption yeah so you, that's love is keeping the laws of the most high okay love is, is, is that something you feel in your heart you tell me yeah like these women they tell me about love that's satan yeah, that little warm feeling you got in your stomach, that's called indigestion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get Gans. some roll yeah, heartburn. <laughs> you get some roll aids from that shit. You that or you got a demon on you. Right, that right. warm, fuzzy feeling. Or when they get up in church, they say they got the Holy Spirit in them, they start speaking in tongues. That's a that's demon. A demon. That's a demon. It's an obvious demon. Go ahead. Goddamn Satan. And incorruption maketh us near unto God. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, <coughs> and skip them, scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that ye may reign forevermore. Or reign forevermore. Oh, that's just like, yeah. The Lord said in the kingdom, we're gonna be sitting on the thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Keep going. That's in what? Matthew the 19th as for wisdom, what, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. And that she ain't a woman, it ain't, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? People, see, the Bible said the woman's wisdom. No, that, some people so stupid, they actually think that's talking about the woman. No, that woman is the scriptures. Because the scriptures is the, our real woman. This is, we, this is our real wife. This is more beautiful than all you hoes. You know what I'm saying? Because. It, it, like, this is all woman. This comforts us. You hoes don't comfort us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't giving no massages. You hoes ain't shit. Keep going. As for wisdom, 
what she is and how she came up. Oh yeah, cause your woman catch you reading the Bible, it's like you got caught cheating on her or something. Yeah, she'll get jealous. Yo, you studying that Bible too much. You know what I mean? My bitch got mad at me because I was into the Bible all the time and not spending as much time with her. And she wants you to spend all, all goddamn day with her. Jealous. They get jealous. Fuck you. Go ahead. He said he loves your shirt. <laughs> As for wisdom, what she is, I love how I'm gonna kill your ass. All right. Any, any, any day. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. It will not hide. It will not hide mysteries from you. Yeah. So the Lord says that we know all things. We perceive all things. Keep going but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. That's all right. So the Lord, he ain't going to... That was the scripture I was thinking about to back it up. I'm trying to think. But the, the, the Lord ain't going he to... Ain't, he ain't going to... What's the word? I can't even try to think of the scripture. Well, the Lord going to give us everything. He's going to let us everything, let us know everything we need to know, man. Like, there's nothing in this Bible that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Because you, some of these preachers, they, they well, some of them, all these preachers, they can't break none of these scriptures down, man. You can't. They don't, they don't never study the Hebrew. They don't never study the Greek. They don't even know the Lord's name. You know what I'm saying? The most important thing, they don't know the name of the Lord. They don't know Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. They never even heard that name before. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, the Lord, I know what I was thinking. The Lord revealed the secret with the of the orange rock. glasses. You remember that script? Yeah, it was a weirdo. Huh? What's that in, uh, what's that in Joel? The Lord reveals the secret of the servant of the prophet. What's that in, uh, That's all good. Keep it, you got more yet? Oh, no, that was, that was good. Yeah, so the Lord, he going to reveal your secret, the secrets of us, man. That's why we the only ones out here coming out telling you the true name of the Lord. Everybody call the name the Lord Jesus. Jesus. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord's name is not Jesus. Yahweh Shai, that's ancient Hebrew. Because the Lord was a Hebrew Israelite. He spoke Hebrew. Therefore, he has a Hebrew name. Okay, and his name is Yahweh Shai. That's the name you're supposed to come out here and, and confess. And the scriptures say, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you ain't calling upon a name, I guess you ain't getting saved. The bus just going to sit here. He probably wants to hear some truth, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to hear his shit with the loud ass bus. I don't know. Did you see that bus driver beat the shit out of that dude, man? Yeah. Uh, you just said that, uh, the bus driver came with a stop, and he's, t he's telling dude to get off the bus, and the dude was like, kill yourself. He, he wouldn't leave. But the dude spit on the bus driver, and the bus driver lost him. Oh, that's what he did. He spit on it, man. He, just, he got his ass whooped. God damn, it was beautiful. Look, your homie, he got one leg, stole his shopping cart from Kroger's, one of them electronic carts. Oh, uh, yeah, that's smart. Put on them chemicals up in your food, you know what I mean? All that MSG and all that corn syrup and all uh, that. Actually, they're getting away from that shit. Shit, yeah, right. They uh -huh. put goddamn aspartame in the food. They put ad all the soybeans and aspartame and high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified corn. All that shit will put. Y'all know what you say, though, the MS, now they mark some of the bag. That's just people waking up. You got some people, you got a lot of people waking up to the truth part because people like us is out here teaching. You know what I mean? That's why you could come out here and teach. Because now you got people, like you said, they taking the MSG out of some of the food now. Because now people know that fucks your brain up. You eating all that MSG. Just like people waking up to the fact that fluoride causes brain damage. That's why a lot of states is coming up with laws and they talking about taking fluoride out of the water. You know what I mean? It's all good. They still gonna have some shit in that water for you. Don't worry. They gonna find something new for you. A new poison. 
They try to poison you every every chance they get. Like you said, you could get some ketchup. Ketchup ain't even made out fucking tomatoes. This goddamn corn is high fructose corn syrup. How is that ketchup? That's that's, that's some corn up. That's, it's made out, you know what I'm saying? It's made from fucking that gen genetically modified corn. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's the most popular condiment. It's fucking you up. It's killing you. It's like that aspartame. You drink a lot of aspartame. Like you see all these people drinking all this diet soda, thinking they lose losing weight. The aspartame will make you go fucking blind. It'll make you lose your sight. Yeah, it makes you crave food more, too. Yep. Whoa, well, you was looking up the symptoms of aspartame. It does all kind of shit to you. Yeah, fuck you up, man. But there ain't none of this food safe. You think you go to the store getting a beef steak? Half the time that, that steak ain't even beef. It's half beef and they they paste it together with pork. Oh yeah, and put that pork glue, paste. remember the glue we found? Yeah, the, the pork glue. Yep. That big slime. Either that or if it ain't a beef, it's horse. Oh, they came out, they about to start selling, they already doing it, they selling horse openly now. They just telling people that it is horse. And people buy it. Oh yeah, who's horse meat? Because they lying to you before. That's why Burger King got caught feeding people horse meat. What do you think that Taco Bell is? Why do you think that shit's so cheap? Beef ain't that cheap. That's some goddamn horse. That's, man, you don't know what them people are feeding. It could be people up in it. Well, yeah, I mean, man, I was reading in my history books that uh, back like in the 1920s and uh, during that time period, Back when the mob was, you know, the Italian mob was real big and stuff. Well, even the Jewish mafia. But after they would whack somebody, put a hit on somebody to get rid of their evidence, they they take the person to the sausage factory yeah, and grind them. Yeah, yeah, they grind their ass up with the meat. They let the pigs eat them. Oh yeah, they all oh, an Italian boss just got caught doing that over there in Italy. Same shit. He, he just got caught feeding some dude to the pigs. That's in, actually, that's in a couple of movies. Oh yeah, uh, snatch, killed motherfuckers, and took them to the meat factory. Yeah, because then they're going to slaughter the pig and someone's going to eat the pig. All you do is get on YouTube and hit up the video of the, lion, the interview that preacher called the interviewing of that Jew, the lion Jew. Oh, yeah. It's called the lion Jew, and he tell you that how they that they take the meat. Out. I'll put him in the sausage. Like and meat. Mm -hmm. They take these people, like they abduct off the streets and that they sacrifice because they use their blood and shit. They put their blood the in the Passover bread. Right, and they to dispose of the bodies, they take, because they, these Jews own them factories. They own all the meat processing factories. Right, they, they own, own McDonald's, shit. they own Burger right. King. And they own the police department, they own every fucking thing. So they doing what they fucking want. They feeding you people. Yep, and when me and my brother, uh, like a couple weeks ago, we were studying. What's the name of that movie again? What, uh, Snatch? I gotta remember that snack. We, we were studying all these different food companies and where they come from, and a lot of them come from goddamn Britain. Damn. Oh, you know how they hate us over here. Right, like Burger King, that's British. That's, you know what I'm saying? That goes all the way back to the British East Indies and goes back to the Rothschilds. That's some Edomites. And the so-called Jews and goddamn Edomites. That's some, that's some Amber concept that's running that shit. Well, I mean, because like the Bank of London, you know what I'm saying? Cause Amalek. That's the money capital of the world. That's the real capital of the world right there. Amalek. Fake ass Jew. Yeah, because America was started by fucking, by, by uh, the United Kingdom. You know what I mean? It was a goddamn, that's why it was called a colony. The colonies. The colonies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man, this place actually is going to get fucked up. Actually, America was originally started by King James in Jamestown, Virginia, mm. son. That was King James that came over here first, before Esau. He, he, you know what I'm saying? First, but then they came, Esau came over here and fucked shit up with the quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, because when Jamestown was first established, they was judging everybody with the Bible. They show you that in that movie. You ever seen that movie uh, with Colin Farrell and uh, New World with Pocahontas? Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good movie. It's that chilled out movie. That, yeah. But they show you in that movie how. Uh, when uh, Colin Farrell, I think he was playing John Smith or something, but he got in trouble, and they was hit. They was like, they read the Book of Leviticus. They was like, we tried him on charges from the Book of Leviticus. <laughs> and, you know, they didn't have no guy. It wasn't no court system with a, with a judge reading the penal code. It, it was the Bible. Well, they had no hammer. You know what shit. I'm saying? <laughs> that the law was the Bible. Like if the law, if 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 they actually follow the laws in the Bible right now, there would be no faggots. There'd be none. They'd all be dead. They, 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 I mean, these faggots, like I said, 
It's only been a short time since faggots have been allowed to walk around freely. Been like really like the past 20 years, if not even that much, really. Well, yeah, about that, right? Because yeah, back in that. the 70s, they wasn't they had them, but it wasn't as tolerable. They looked down on you. But now it was open, and they they teaching your kids how to masturbate in school, and they teaching you know what I'm saying, how to be a faggot. You know what I'm saying? I just like like they've been long since these women been walking around having all this living there. Right. That ain't been long either. Ain't been that long. That means it ain't gonna last long either. That means that that means that's like a rare anomaly. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's a glitch. Yeah, why? Right, right. It's like something is just gonna get corrected real soon. Is you know what I'm saying? Cause this ain't gonna last long, man. That's like right. these faggots walking around, like ain't no big deal. Yeah, transvestites or two dudes kissing. And now it's bad enough that they're doing it, but they're forcing it on us. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. They force, and then they get. If if you have a problem with it, you're a homophobe. You speak to hate speech. Going to cops, they're gonna bring up charges on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything's all about protecting a faggot. They say a faggot is the new black man. Oh yeah. They they, yeah, they, they compare faggots' rights to the civil rights. That's how fucking evil these people are, man. They're crazy. That's some crazy as fucking. It's evil. probably been part of their agenda the whole time. Like when they first put the civil agenda. rights movement, they was like after the civil rights movement, we gonna pass the faggot movement. Well, that that was actually part of the civil rights with Lyndon B. Johnson oh, and what they call that, the New America, the. Uh, what, my brain ain't working right. What is, what's that Jalen B. Johnson plan? His plan was to break up the family. To bring in, uh... Oh, I can't think of it either. You know what I mean? The new American, the new plan, that, that, that's the FDR. Mm. Yeah, that's just put it simple. You go on order. Yeah, but his whole job was coming there to break up the family. You know what I'm saying? That's why, uh, 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 because everybody used to be segregated. So now they, they forced... Black people, white people live together. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't even gonna work out. You know what I'm saying? So and then they then they forced the woman to leave their husband because the woman has a man, she ain't gonna get no benefits. You know what I'm like saying? Like that bitch that was on the bus and uh, wouldn't give up her seat to the white man. Uh, uh -huh. Rosa, Rosa, Park, Rosa Park. That shit was yeah. set up. That Edomite should have kicked her ass all the way to the back of that motherfucker. Yeah, he could have did it. That bitch, man. I ain't supporting that bitch just because she stood up for that. To that Edomite man who wouldn't give up her seat. Yeah, that she, Edomite should have whooped her black ass. Yeah, yeah, she, I would have been more for him whooping her ass than her, her standing up to him. Yeah. Stupid black well, She was out of order. Well, really? You're right. Because, uh, why is the woman black taking a stand? Where's the men at? Right, you know, she right. got an old ass lady. She going she gonna start a revolution. Yeah, an old right, ass lady. Right, right. 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 Harriet Tubman, motherfucker. Oh, Harriet Tubman. Yeah. You like, see a lot. This was out of order, just like they're out of order now. That set the stage. You see a lot of them Harriet Tubman hoes out here too. Here we go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got that same spirit. Same fucking spirit, man. A foul spirit. See, that's why they that's why they do it. See, that's that post Civil War propaganda. Is all the heroes, all the black heroes, were all women. Oh, the, the main ones they talk about is Harriet Tubman. They, they, they don't barely even talk about uh, Davis with her lesbian ass, a bitch with all the oh, yeah. right yeah. set, where it's always had her fist up and shit. So, so they always big enough the lesbian. woman. Right. Like Black the woman. They, they, they teach about Harriet Tubman. They teach about Rosa Parks. They ain't gonna tell you about Nat Turner. They ain't gonna tell you about that one. Look at the show, the Cosby show. I hated that, that, that motherfucking show. No. The, the Cosby show. I hate that movie. Here, Papa Cosby, Bill and Faggot Ass, Boulay Society Faggot Ass, was the goofy one in the family, silly goofy, not taking shit serious. Right. But the wife was always the one that was, you know, That's the with same. the solutions to all the problems. That's all the, the show. Serious the one. Simpsons. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Simpsons is like that. Yeah, in every episode of The Simpsons, they uh they have a they make a joke about how the Bible ain't real. Like one time Homer. Homer became a genius in one of the episodes, and he was talking to Ned Flanders. Yeah, he was talking to Ned Flanders, and he that wrote you, is it? No, that's his next door neighbor. Oh, Ned uh, Flanders. I watched that for years. Many years yeah. but he he wrote down a mathematical equation proving there is no such thing as God. But every you know what I'm saying? That's right. And they even have Lisa Simpson saying there's no God, in it, and Bart mocking the most. Even they got the little children. The little little children up in the cartoon uh, mocking the Most High. They even show you that the preacher don't even actually believe in the Lord in that show. They, they actually got that part right though. What's up, honky? Man, man, all these TV shows you watch, like he said, the husband in the show is always retarded. 
the, the one with like everybody loves Raymond. Al Bundy. But no, actually Al Bundy's my that's my nigga, bro. He, he, Peggy that. had that motherfucking check. Yeah, but he hated that bitch though. Yeah, but she hated him too. Yeah, though. she hated him. She didn't want to be bothered by him. Al Bunny so was hard. She got fucking somebody else. Yeah, she. Yeah, baby. Oh, they had the that's She Man that's Woman that's Haters that's Club. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> that family was straight up. That's the only show I like was the uh, Marion Show. That's my shit. The Marion Show. That was my shit. Yeah, it was a funny yeah. show. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, that that one too. Oh, rock. Oh my goodness. Rock was something else. Ooh, that, that was I just remember that was a house nigga for your ass, right. Rock. I that remember. was an Uncle Tom ass nigga. I was an Uncle Tom ass nigga in the movie room. I was in the movie Was it? Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he was in the movies. Yeah, I know when he was at the park, he was yeah, he was trying to talk to him. Oh yeah, they was in the barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, he was trying to talk to him. Yeah, that Uncle Tom ass shit. Yeah. If a law can save you, then I'm for it. He was saying some Uncle Tom ass shit. You notice that. At the end of the movie, he was the first to go. He said, he said, <laughs> okay, his son, but you, his son was the first to go. Right, right. He, he ain't say nobody. Them words of wisdom ain't help nothing. It, it, yeah. The movie ended badly. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, the words uh, ain't help nobody. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> sure it was all scripted. I was watching that the other day, and I was like, oh, yeah. I hate that the, damn the Muslim, The Muslim dude was the first to go. I hate worse than <laughs> that movie was uh, that bitch. What's that, Jada Pinkett? Oh, God. I right. hate that fucking oh, bitch, I can't man. stand that. And they, just like we was talking about the woman. In, and man. they made in that movie, she had the most wisdom. She the only one that made it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't matter like she had all the wisdom and shit in that movie. It was the goddamn woman. Every movie's like that. Just like that Medea bitch. That's not even, it got a, a what's that dude's name? Oh, Tyler Perry. They try, yeah, Tyler Perry. First of all, he dressed up in goddamn drag. He should be put to death for that. Millions of dollars in drag. But here it is, this motherfucker dressed up in drag playing a woman, and they act like she got all the goddamn wisdom. Mm -hmm. She's a strong one. She's a strong wisdom. Yeah. She's a power and everything, you know. That's why it is in every every TV show. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what show it is. You show it to me, and the woman's running shit in the show. Oh, they got every this wicked ass show out here now called Scandal. With, uh, President's whore. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a black bitch. Wow. They turn everything upside down, man. You see that new comedy show? And it's a new? number one it's uh, a new? TV show out there right. right now. It's a new black comedy now. Um, Keys and. Two black men for those in Fairmont. They got a little comedy thing now, and it's some or every skit they do. It's some fact, it's some fact and shit. You gotta look at it. Man. I can't remember keys and all. Can't I can't remember the name of it, man. And it's huge now too. But well, one of them fat, <coughs> heavy set. Well, little short, short. One light skin, the other dark skin, one's tall, the other. They, okay. they from off Saturday Night Live. But now they on regular TV. Some old shit? Nah, it's just some oh. brand new shit. Some new nick and this some and they funny, but they man, this the most gayest show I've ever seen in the history of shows. Yeah, I believe it. In I the history watch. of all yeah. television. It's getting worse. It's worse. getting worse. And you gotta see this shit, man. Like you gotta remember it's two it's black guys, bad. one short and one tall. You know? You'll see it once you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's a show, it's a comedy skit. As soon as if you ain't gay, you can't even get a goddamn job. You Every can't. skit they do is on some homo shit. But I got a scripture for these hoes we was just talking about. This is Proverbs 31 and 1. The words of, uh, excuse me, the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. And dude has 666 on the back of his yeah, coat. Like He's out of there. Well, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows. This is what people say, uh, y'all always talk bad about women, y'all misogynist. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, this What's that called when you anti, um, yeah. when you are? Yeah, misogynist. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Because it's another name for when women is hate men. Uh, this name's for, I'm gonna look it up and find yeah, one of these days. I know, I know what you're saying. But there's women that hate men and men that hate women. There's names for it. I can't remember the name yeah. though. They call us pigs. They, they, got names for they call us pigs. I don't hate women. I just, just I'm disgusted with their with their life, man. Yeah, their this... lifestyles, their 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 philosophies, their uh uh whatever, you know, I'm, women, man. They just Well, this is what a righteous woman said right here. She, this is what she said. She said, give not thy strength. This is what she said to her son. Give not thy strength unto women. That means when you get paid, that one example is, don't give the bitch your check, man. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you don't give her the authority either. Right, to pay bills and shit. You better pay them motherfuckers your damn self. Just like we was talking about, like, like on that TV show, Everybody Loves Raymond. You watch that show, how his wife is running shit. And right. he, he's stupid. I, all the TV shows are like that. Raymond's stupid. His wife's the only one that has her yeah, shit yeah, together. Yeah, they stupid. They always sit on that. They always sit at that one recliner. Yep. Hey, <laughs> me and my wife saved up some too. money, man, right? You know, I found out this bitch gave her parents like two G's, man. I damn near knocked her fucking head off, man. Did this shit behind my back, and I found out years later. Damn. <laughs> I found out years later, man. Years later. Uh, mm -hmm, yeah. Because there was a time, before the truth, man, we was doing all right. I was working big time, working. I was working for like two jobs, man. Yeah. At the house, working at the hospital, and I was working private through, uh, through, uh, through, uh, through these, uh, you know, group homes and shit. Anyway, I was just saving money, just saving money, man. Both of them, we just saving money, man. He's doing all right. Yeah, the woman is too. That's how I put an end to that shit. Because <laughs> the woman, she too easy, bitch are too easy to manipulate. She done fucked up all kind of accounts, man, my wife, man. She done fucked up, made bad decisions, made terrible decisions on, on investments and shit, man. Oh, yeah, don't, ass. don't let a woman go buy a car or nothing with your money. Oh, stupid ass. But see, that's why these men, they always let the woman take control of everything. She decides what, what y'all gonna watch. She decides where you gonna go. She, yeah, she's, you know what I'm saying? My wife watches everything I watch. These tonight. bitches, these bitches, they, they decide how you dress. You know what I'm saying? They just got these men in check, man. I don't think I've ever watched a movie I watch. And, it, and here it is, these bitches, do you, and when these bitches do you like that, then they say, yeah, this dude's really a weak bitch, then they leave you. Right. Yeah. Women, it turns a woman on when that man is constantly in charge. It man. doesn't let you run shit. Yep, it, it keeps her coming back, keeps her keeps her there, man. And I ain't an asshole to my wife, but I may have, but I do be an asshole to her sometimes. Because I have to be, it's necessary. Because I see that she likes that shit. <laughs> you, know, I, 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 you know, she likes me holding it rough and snatch her, and, you know. This is like me, right? She don't like nothing about a soft nigga. <laughs> no, for real. Dumbass bitches. They stupid, man. But that's just in their nature. But they don't know that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they don't know. Chances are that bitch is just with you because you got a good job, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get fired from that job. See how long she with you did. See how long she with you did. Because as long as that that's money coming in, that's their loyalty. Yeah. That's their loyalty they show she, yeah, towards she, you, you know? She's loyal to that money, not to you. Mm -hmm. That comfort. Yep, that security. You know that yep, but when times get hard, Hey, that bitch turned her back, her turn her back on your ass with the quickness. You know? Come home, you gotta hear this, you gotta, you gotta looking for a job, you come home, you gotta hear this bitch nagging. I wish the fuck I would walk in the door with my bitch nagging me by any motherfucking thing, man. Any fucking thing. I'll hit my bitch in a minute. Knock <laughs> a bitch out. Damn right, man. I done knocked all my kids' moms out. I have, man. I done knocked the living shit out of all my kids' moms, man. I done knocked the living shit out of the bitches, man. Man, you can't knock, man. You know? As soon as you fucking even raise your voice, they call the cops. My black kids, mom, I ain't seen her since uh, 03, and she's still mad that a nigga don't come around. I'm surprised you ain't gonna know. Shit, she's still missing niggas. You know? I used to knock that bitch out all the time, she's, and she's still missing to this day. She's still missing to this day. <laughs> shit. I like to see a bitch get knocked out. That'd be fucking hilarious. That shit, y'all used to love that shit, man. It's like a fetish of mine, man. I don't. I, it, it's one of the things that used to turn me on. It still turns me the fuck on to see a woman crying, man. I don't want to see no bitch, mass and masculine bitch standing up to you. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 I'm super bossy. I get that shit. Ain't that, that shit? Ain't nothing attractive about that shit, man. It ain't cute, and, and not even in the least bit. A strong bitch, man. That shit turns me on when I see a bitch cry. Especially when I made you cry. <laughs> shit. Right. But, and those days are coming real, come, those days are coming to, to come upon us real fast when you bitches gonna be crying when you, just from what you see. There's gonna be so much shit like the sound of that helicopter right now. That's gonna be putting fear in you <laughs> bitches' hearts. <laughs> That's gonna put fear in you bitches' minds, in your hearts, in your eyes. And you're gonna be looking for a man of the Lord for protection. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be looking for a man of the Lord. Simple ass. I was about to get that action. Stupid ass, simple ass. Right now, let them walk around like they some big bad 
Big Bad Latifah bitches. Queen Latifah. Man, I'll punch, punch Queen Latifah in her purse. fat face, man. Right. Yes, you got a fat ass. Oh, big head bitch. Big that bitch got a big ass head. I might still rape her, though. That's a big fat, that's a big lesbian witch, man. You got a fat ass, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I rape shit big out of that Big booty, yeah, she got a big And booty. she a lesbian, too. She do got a body, though. She yeah. actually do have a body. She got some big ass titties, mm -hmm. She's just, a, she's just a, uh, yeah. a Amazon. A she's an Amazon. Yeah. Uh, just a big, thick bitch, right. you know? All you have to need, all you need, when this time comes, man, like a bitch like Latifah, man, when this time, when this, when this calamity come, when the Lord's, that he's gonna throw upon America when this calamity come, a bitch like Queen, a big ass bitch like Queen Latifah gonna fall immediately into line, and she gonna be sexy as fuck. Then. Yeah, <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you know her she, women, her that feminist, she, that, that feminine nature gonna come back. She ain't gonna be eating none of that goddamn pork too. Mm -hmm. you, you can look at that bitch till mm -hmm. she eat pork. She yeah, love yeah. bacon and all she, that. Yep, she gonna yeah, get yeah. raped and then she gonna be put to death. Cause a bitch like that ain't gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven, she, man. She, she, she works. She a devil works. Right. 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 A bitch like that ain't gonna make it to no kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah, she part of all kind of secret society now. Right. 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 Got him. Uh, got him. Got your ass. Got him. Fucking. That's what y'all bitches get, man. The car in there drunk as fuck. If they are, if they are on this campus, they dress, best believe every car drunk. They come from somewhere drinking, Hell especially yeah. from the short north. All these bars around here, man. Oh, uh, plus he got the blitz. Of his Esau don't get tickets to go downtown and go get. He don't get drunk tickets anyway. If he does, he get an attorney. It ain't shit. Goes in yeah. court and walks right back out. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, because in America, Judge, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shit? What we living? What kind of fuck? What kind of fucking place is this? What? Who are, if you got a lot of money, you don't go to jail. What the fuck is that? You go, oh, that's justice. That's the American way. If you if you have a lot of money, you don't go to jail. That, that's not bribery, I don't know what it is. That's oppression. That's yeah, oppression. That's, that's fucked up, man. No, but these, these men, the men of these, the tribes don't got no money. But these women of these tribes do. That's the spirit, how the 30, the 30 right, second chapter on that of Isaiah, how the, the, your bitches shall fail, you know? All that shit you planning, your future, your vacate next week, next week, uh, uh, this, like, this is winter time. Yeah, they playing in the Olympics. Right, when, the, when, the, um, when, when springtime come up, best believe the bitches of these tribes, man, they plan on going to vacate. Man, they, especially the black woman, man, they love going to the islands. They love the islands, man. They go to them islands and yep. they fuck everybody on them yep. islands and come home. Come back with all yeah. kind of diseases. Yeah, they, yeah, their thing is going to Florida. They're, 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 the black bitches thing is going to Nevada. The yeah. white bitches love going to Jamaica. To fucking, oh, yeah, 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 because I they fuck their own shit. niggas. Yeah. I've seen that, I've seen they that. They getting them big, a, a, a Mandingo nigga, yep. you know? And they paying for it too. Hell oh, yeah, because yeah, they they're making the money. Yeah. They're the ones that got the jobs. They, they, Jake, the brothers ain't got no fucking jobs. They ain't gonna give you a job either unless you go suck something with dick. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no paying job. We may have a job, but it's a low paying job. We ain't got no fucking job. That's all we need anyway. So if the most high give you that low paying job, that's enough for you to eat what the most high wants you to eat. Okay, you know what I mean? You don't need no daily bread, that's daily all you're gonna bread, get. Yeah. That's right. That's all you actually need, actually. That's actually yeah. prayer, yeah. That's all you need. Let me read this right. You don't right need here. no job that you saving up for your fucking uh, uh, the, the vacation when the weather changed to warm and going, bro. Go on, bro. Yeah. Saving up for the retirement funds. Right, right. Saving up for a fucking wicked ass diamond ring to give you that wicked ass black bitch. And you don't, yeah. You don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. You don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen for second to second. Right. Living on proudly, planning fifty years in the future. Matthew three. You ain't gonna make it that far. He said, yeah, he said, the Lord said, take no thought for tomorrow for anything more than that's wicked. Mm-hmm. That's these bitches, boy. Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. Now, there's no righteousness ruling out here. That's the damn shit. Like I said, we said earlier, hey, this ain't going to be, uh, ain't no judgment. Like you see, you go to the courthouse, if you have a lot of money, you don't go to jail. But the poor, all the poor people go to jail. They can't afford a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get some court attorney. Some court attorney. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 he, he works for the goddamn DA. Right. You know what I mean? Shit. But e even the one, even the defense attorney that you pay for, he still works for the DA too. Right. Because they all go they, off they, they play. They're all part of the same fraternity. They're all Freemasons. Right. They're all goddamn devil worshippers. They all them blew each other. Cause when, they might, uh, it might appear that they're 
they're going against the judge and battling. But it's just like me playing my brother in a game of Nintendo or something. Like I'm battling him with Tecmo. It's just a game to him. That's why it's called a court. When you go to court, that's a game. It's like when you play basketball on a court. court. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like when you go, like, just like, right, that's what, you know, Jordan Maxwell Ben brought that out. Like, you know, I'll, I'll tell you who I stole that from. Yeah, he would, bro. Yeah, hey, Jordan Maxwell, that's his job, though, is to, uh, to lure in more free yeah. lessons. It, it, he making it look as if he's exposing them, but part of that exposure is to, to educate whoever and, and bring them in. But it's funny, though, just like he, even Jordan Maxwell brought that out. Mm -hmm. You go to the court, it's a game, just like a basketball game, you got a court. And just like in the court, on a basketball court, you got somebody dressed in black and white, and he's the judge, he's the referee, he's the middleman, you know what I mean? That, well, just like when you go to court, you got the guy, or you got the referee, he might as well have a damn whistle. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit, it's a game. Right. To them, it's a game. Let me read this real quick, uh, This is Matthew 6 and uh, 25. Therefore, I say unto you. Oh, well, I'm up for my one second. Uh, yeah, but I'll go back. I forgot to mention. Yeah, Jordan Maxwell, the Lord is about to fuck you up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he look like he's dead anyway. He, he probably he probably too damn tired to even watch our videos. <laughs> he's tired, don't he? He, 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 he's just trying to breathe. You know? <laughs> yeah, he got that yeah. big ass chin and shit. Uh -huh. But he Jake too, I yeah, think so. Yeah, he got be. Yeah, he, he, he too, too goddamn cool, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause, Cause you know he hangs around. Actually, Ice T and him, they go. Hang around with that motherfucker. Because if he came out here, we'd probably have a good talk with him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, probably would. He probably wouldn't be a dick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Fat bag. He eat all that goddamn pork, man. He probably be, be, drank all kind of nut too. Ugh, he probably did all kind of goodness. fucking freaky nasty shit. Yeah, yeah. He look like a nasty old motherfucker. He looks like a nasty old motherfucker. I bet he parties like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. He, he look yeah. worn out. Yeah. I can tell when somebody parties yeah. a lot because it wears you out, man. Yeah. That gives you that look. You can yeah. tell by yeah. looking at him. Yeah. Yeah. Sure the fuck can. Here you go, Matthew 6 and 24, 25. Therefore I say unto you. Yeah, Jordan Maxwell smoking all kind of good shit. <laughs> go ahead. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat oh, and yeah, the so body than raiment? Right, yeah, so people all worry about what they're looking like. You know, I got to have my, all oh, people killing each other are fucking Jordans. You know, the Jordans just came out the other That's day. That's every time a pair of Jordans. Yeah, right. Come. Every time a Jordan come out and get reissued, motherfuckers, get, motherfuckers getting stabbed. You see that out east the mall? Yeah, east that's what he was talking yeah, about. The other day. That was just the other day. Oh, and then someone tried to sell a pair on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. And then and motherfuckers got robbed. Shot each, other, yeah. shot each other up. Yep, yep. out east on the south side. He, he stole some Jordans, and then, and then he went to sell them on Craigslist, and then the people was buying Right, right. No, no, he yeah. never had a pair of Jordans. Oh, he never had. He them. robbed the people that was going to oh, buy them. Oh, okay, I got a backboard. Okay, so proud that's a good one. That they knocked the whole doors off the hinges to oh. get in. To, they get to them shoes, oh, man. The goddamn Jordan. And then after you buy it, you think you got it? No, you ain't made it out that parking lot yet. You got. Plus, they gonna follow you. They will follow you. Oh man, shit! These people got to go. Ain't you heard? Got to they go. got. We got the casino down in Columbus now. Cause most y'all cities, you ain't got casinos. Columbus got a casino, and then uh, there's a lot of cases after uh, motherfuckers hit that jackpot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jake is watching you, what? and he's oh. following you home. Following. Oh. After they, and they, they robbing your ass, man. So these motherfuckers in Columbus, they don't tell you about Columbus. But there's some cutthroat killers out here, man. It's a big ass city, man. And a lot of the killers, they don't show on the news. Yeah, they gave this one dude an envelope with like $30,000 in it. Yep, they Motherfucker, followed they followed him home, tied him up, duct taped his ass. Those fucking. casinos is good, man, because they bring business. But really, the people that robbed him probably worked for the casino. Yep. They probably just went yep. and got hey, the money what? back. I was thinking, yep. you got, yep, you probably mm -hmm. right, too. That's how mm -hmm. they do it. Because you know who owns that casino is about Italian yes. mob. They actually look it up on paper. I don't know who really owns it. Yeah, it's but like on the paper, Cannonelli it says it's owned by Italians, which the Italian mafia got taken over by them Jews a long time ago. Them motherfucking Jews was running shit. They show you that in casino, the movie Casino. A lot of them Jews were. Right, the so called oh, the, be the best movie to watch on the Jewish Mafia <laughs> is uh, Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro. Like yeah, you see that? Movie. That's a bad movie. And they go into it and, once, and they show you how them fucking so called Jews she, well, they're the first, ruthless. I can't remember it was the first Godfather or the second Godfather. They had a Jew oh, part they, of the Mafia there. And he said, it's, Yeah, because. 
Cause yeah, cause uh, Satan Cuba. He said his father didn't trust him. Uh, Roth or whatever. His Mr. Roth. That's it. That's Mr. Roth. His, his last name was Roth. That yeah, that dude up in Cuba. Your boy got his ass too. Yeah, sure. Got, yeah. He, that was got bad. It, that was bad as fuck. And guess Godfather that Two. That's the best one. That's a bad part I'm two. Just one and two. All that shit. Yeah. That's some bad. Part movies, three is corny as hell. They don't make movies like that no more. Hell no. They don't make no, no well, movies like well, that. Well, Marlon Brando's bitch ass. That homosexual. Yeah, he's a big faggot. He's a big faggot. What? He's a big ass homosexual. That came out back in, I remember that back in the 80s coming out. He was a big ass fucking faggot. Oh, yeah, hell, of, hell of a fucking actor. Yeah, my, Every my time my you say faggot, talking. one of them guys looks over like, like oh, they're to talking me. about us. They're talking about us. Oh, fuck them yeah, faggots. Jigs, uh. Wearing <laughs> some pink shirts and some tight pants. He's wearing skinny jeans. Goddamn bronies. They probably watch My Little Pony together, you know what I mean? No, I'm not pro They actually do that shit. They have My Little Pony parties, bro. <laughs> they probably, you know what I'm saying? They do, do this point. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. We already did. I made a video before. I put it in the video. And so you look up the word brony. Actually, just get on YouTube and type in brony. And you're going to see all these, all these grown men talking about My Little Pony, about how fantastic it is. <laughs> I'm not making that shit up, man. They say it's cool to be, it's cool for guys to like pink. It's cool for guys to like My Little it, it, Battery Pony. Battery's dying. That's real, too. A bunch of faggots, man. Amazingly oh, real. that battery's about to die. It's amazingly real. Oh, we man, we'll, let's get one last scripture or something. Uh, we, I always like to get that one last scripture. I don't even know what he get. I got one. You got one? When we got the spirit of the Lord on us, trust me, leave. Any camp that got the spirit of the Lord on us, on, on you, you're not coming short in scriptures. Well, I got this scriptures one. Scriptures are coming out. Well, you can always. They're coming out. <laughs> you know, that's one thing I ain't never worried about. We don't go out and. I mean, have you got no Bible. How can you run out of scriptures? <laughs> we got this giant Bible. A giant Bible. Hey, hey, you can't find those scriptures? <laughs> This got thousands of pages. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm right. saying? That's thousands and that's, thousands of precepts. Man, you can just open up the book of Psalms and just start reading. I don't even care. It's gonna be fire. Living water, bro. You know what I'm I'll do that right now. Watch. Living water, bro. I, I'm a, I'll just choose a random song because it's all, it's all fire, and the Spirit is gonna give us a bad scripture to end it on. I'm gonna just go right here. Psalms uh, 110. I, I mean, it's just the first one. I open it up. Psalms 110. <laughs> Psalms 110 and 1. So if y'all out, y'all younger brothers, you going out teaching, you don't know.